Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is the chocolate that Sam bought me for Easter. I didn't want any Easter candy from the Easter Bunny, but he did surprise me with this. It's one of my favorite chocolate bars. It's Black Forest Arrow. I love it. I always store it in the freezer. Who else stores their chocolate in the freezer? I like crispy chocolate, not melted chocolate. Last night, Gabby slept over at Kaylee's house. It's what they do on long weekends especially. And this morning, Gabby phoned when she woke up and said to her dad, she texted him and said, hey, will you go get us coffee? And Sam said, ah, I'm not going to go get your coffee. You're sleeping at your friend's house who's like literally five minutes away from the coffee store and we're far way further. I'm not going to get you coffee. Like, ah. and he was complaining to me and I was thinking, how long till you think he gets up and gets ready and goes to get her coffee? How long do you think it will take? Five minutes. He's like, mm, I guess I'm going to go get coffee. Do you want one? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I knew you were going to. So it's just Sophie and me and the dogs and her brand new Easter shoes. If you guys didn't see yesterday's Easter video, then you might not have seen that she got new Easter shoes and she's not allowed to wear them around the farm. She's wearing them. Where are we going? Um, to wood. Around the farm, Sophie. But she's not allowed to go near the horses. I just don't have to walk in mud. Yeah, you just have to stay away from mud, right? And um, last night, we went on a wagon ride after all the kids left. And we went as fast as we could, but we had to stop at the barn first. And I was at the back of the thing, and Dad parked me. In the middle of a mud puddle. Yeah, he always parks me in the middle of a mud puddle too. It's his special gift. Who else has a dad, a father, a boyfriend, a husband, whatever you have out there. Who else has somebody that has a knack for parking the car and when you open the door, there's a big huge puddle right outside your door. Sam, it does it. he's notorious for it. So uh, today, um, Sophie and I are going to try and build something. Neither of us are handy. I want to build it because I want to build it how I like it. Do you want to build it? Yeah, it might turn out like a piece of trash. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Sophie and I are not handy. Why are we doing it and not Dad? Because he's not here and he'll complain. Yeah, and he just doesn't want to do it and he just complains. So we said, fine, we'll do it ourselves, right? Yeah. Um, Women power. Pop sockets are really fun to fidget with. Yeah. So... Sophie and I are going to try and build a brooder, a bigger brooder, for our chickens today. Everything we put them in, in like oh, three, three days. days, they outgrow it. I know. Yeah. Before we get started, Look, it looks really Sophie good. and I wanted to show you something. We you, learned you something be a else. Girl. You're too friendly to be a boy. We learned something else about sexing chickens with their wings. So go ahead, pull her wing out. So this is definitely a girl. A girl. So oh, wait. <laughs> okay, pull it out again. So see how she has like an indent. Show the indent right there, right here, right here. Well, kind of where there's two like massively different levels of feathers. So she looks like she's a hen, even though she seems very rooster like. All right, let's find another one and show you the difference. Okay, so this is Leo. I don't know why we chose him. You can't hold him. You can't even hold him. A definite boy, girl. Girl, what? Wait, maybe. I think that's a girl. See? Good job. Two definite different levels of wings. Let's oh. find a boy and then we'll show you. Okay, look at this one. See that? All the wings. All the wings are almost the same. Like, just pull them out, not all the way. Like, just nicely. So... His wings are almost all the same. Do you see? They're almost all the same length. Get it? That's a boy. So that's a boy. Our blanket here is covered in feathers. <laughs> all right. So, oh, that is definitely a girl. Let's wait. Let's see if we can show them. Do you guys see the difference? Oh, do you guys see the difference? Definitely a girl. Dang it. <laughs> be a boy. <laughs> We got them all wrong from I the beginning. I want to be a griffin, though. So I don't know how accurate this is, but Here I just found thing. it. Don't name chickens until you know. <laughs> if it's a boy or a girl. Pickles. All right, pickles. Boy. Boy. Pickles, you're at sea. Definitely a boy. But you can see, like, these ones are definitely a little tiny bit. Smaller, but. Bigger, but not hardly at all. Oh, these ones are little. Pickles, good job. Pickles, you are the right sex. I don't care if this one's a boy or a girl, because if it's girl autumn, I kind of want it to be a boy so it can be, I mean. Um, oh, what is it? 
It's a boy. No, it's a girl. It's a total girl. You're a girl. Oh. No, we don't have Jasper. <laughs> All right, let's go collect this our stuff. This, this is two girls on a mission. So we're going to use this as the top, right? Yeah. So we, and we found walls that we're going to use for walls. All we need is a base, a bottom. Oh, there's something on the shoe. Oh, don't get them dirty. I was thinking like this piece of wood here would be good, but it doesn't seem huge. But it's probably the same size as that. Almost the same size. Oh wait, are the worms under there? Oh, so I've just got to pick worms now. For the chickens. For the chickens. Nope, no worms. Bruce finding every wood piece and saying it's good for anything. Yeah, that looks like Sophie's like we should use this too, and that could definitely could I take these things off. No, that would be such a good perch. A... We are not handy. Did I tell you guys we are not handy? But we're gonna do this. We don't really have to drill anything. <laughs> yeah, this is our easy way. What do you guys see? What we're gonna build? <laughs> the only thing is, I don't know if it's gonna be too big. This is it so far. We love it. Do we love it? You hate it. I love it. I just think it's not much bigger. Because once you get the bricks, it takes up like a third of each. Because the bricks take up so much space. So I feel like the bricks, I feel like we need to move the bricks off the wood for it to actually be big. We can do that, but that side and this side. Yeah, two sides we can't do that. You think it's gonna be big enough? Like when you have a lot of chickens, and you need a lot of space. Put one in that corner over there, where your foot is. Yeah, I was little, like really little, like eight or nine. It was fashionable to make a bookshelf out of bricks and wood, kind of like those benches that they make right now, where they have like those bricks, and then all you do is stick wood between the slats. Um, well, they kind of did that. We kind of did that to make bookshelves. Way more professional than this, though. <laughs> I think that's way bigger now. All right, back to it. We'll show you guys when we're done. Okay, we have built we have built it. This is what it looks like so far. So Sophie's gonna put some shavings down there. No, these aren't baby chicks. These are not baby chicks. Wow, that's a lot of shavings. So basically, we have wood underneath, and then we have bricks all the way around. <laughs> I left. Sucks. Well, it sucks, but... We're going to put the water right there. Okay, so why, why this is dumb is because it's <laughs> heavy it and so much work. And we're never moving out of this house now. Yeah, and we wanted it in the living room because we love watching them. But pretty soon then we won't be able to do that. And we'll have to either move this or move the new baby chicks into this. And these baby chicks will have to go outside to the to the other room. We have we have a room out there that's closed in, but it's not heated, and that's where they're gonna end up having to go. Also, Sophie and I found this thing, and we're gonna use it to go on top once we get all the baby chicks in there. This is it, it looks kinda like... Why didn't you build that in the other room? Well, we should've built it in the other room. All so, right, um, the reason we built it like this was because it was easy, and we didn't have to like, hammer and nail anything because we don't know how to do that and so I was gonna leave like a little bit of a hole right there so that they could there. jump up but obviously right, that's not gonna you work you, go? uh -oh. hey, Mom. you guys can see that they've grown so much that they hardly fit in this now and before they were so small they just could all run around and be free and this one this one's what ow that's she thinks I have a worm that's your favorite huh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we had been smarter, we would have built this out in the other room and had like a really nice big brooder for them out there. So we also um, put like a dog pee pad underneath this so that for cleanup, it'll be so easy. We just roll it up. They're like, wow. And obviously this, we have to make it like way taller to keep bigger chickens in here. So these guys are not staying for very long. Like two more weeks and they're out of this room. It's way more sturdy. So is that the biggest chicken right there? Yeah, Leo. Yeah, and he's got like a good little bit of space before he hits his head. He's going to probably be the first one. They're like, wow, look at all this space. Literally in two weeks, there'll be like, we'll probably have to move them even before two weeks. 
Well, like this guy will be good. Yeah, that one will be able to stay forever. <laughs> Not forever, but like until he's bigger. And we can put two feeders in here now because they go, we have to feed them like two or three times a day with that little feeder. Show I'm going to get them another feeder. I have more feeders. Daddy, look, it's a cult. Oh, here. that's a rooster. See, that's, that's. Both oh my God, point break. Wait, is that point break? No, it's not. Flash number one. Gabby's home from Kaylee's. Did you have fun, Gabby? Mm -hmm. Did you stay up all night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah of course. There we go. Locked in. Come Completely locked in. Let's move it this side a little. It actually fits perfect. This mesh thing Come actually in. fits perfect. So perfect. I this love it. They're all like, wow, look at this cool new place. The camera is so deceiving. Like there's so much space between the chicken and their head. Like two bricks. But there, now we can watch them for at least another week, hopefully. They won't Most outgrow of this. The little tiny baby baby ones. Um could probably stay in there. Hopefully. I'm proud of us. Good job, team. In the end. Me. Yeah, it was yeah. mostly me and Sophie and, and me then Dad and Gabby. <sighs> you gave up on me. I gave up halfway. I've helped build it halfway. They got low. Sophie, you and I got like I so know. many bricks. They got twenty two bricks. All they did was get twenty two bricks. Yeah, Sophie helped the most. All, but it took you all day to do 22. It took us all day to do 22 bricks. I swear Molly is like, has a thing against the horses. I swear it's like she has to have the last word. It's like she gets like, Penny says no, get away from me. And we don't let Molly go like bother her. I feel like Molly's like, you may win the battle, but I will win the, the war. In Canada at Easter time, we have two holidays. We have... Good Friday is a holiday, so Friday was a holiday and people don't go to work on Friday. And Easter Monday, which is today, is also a holiday. So people don't go to work today. So that's why we've just kind of been home doing nothing. Like even our lessons tonight, today, were canceled because it's a holiday. We're back at the barn tomorrow and today I actually learned a lot of stuff about bits. Like really intense stuff about bits that I didn't know before. I found out so much information and now I want to change Chino's bit because I really feel like Chino's bit is not the right one. Even though it's a snaffle, I just don't feel like it's the right snaffle. This isn't a snaffle. That is a snaffle. This is a pinchy bit. Well, that's what the thing. They used to always say that those were, those were pinchy, but I've found out more information now and it turns out that they're pinchy until they go into the horse's mouth. When it's in your hand, you can make it pinch, but when it's in the horse's mouth, it's it's not like that so sophie and i gabby's in the shower sophie and i came down to find our bits because i want to be ready and take it in the morning i never want him to ride in his bit again i like now i really feel like his bit is not working well for him and never has been but i've never been able to get anybody to understand what i felt like was happening if that makes sense so anyways, I'm gonna get Gabby to come down and find our bits because we have a whole stash of bits. Actually, oh, yeah, they're, kind of scattered. they're scattered. Maybe they're hanging up somewhere. But I know that we have a bit that would work for Chino. That is way too small. Way too, yeah, way too small. All right, well, we can't find it. You can see part of Gracie's head. Hi, Penny. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna get Gabby to come down and get them and be ready and we'll explain it all a little bit better tomorrow. There's this one, but I think this one's definitely too small. Yeah, that's, that's Willow's size. That's Willow's. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today's video. Um, like I said, it's been a holiday here, so we've been kind of taking it low. We've been kind of laying low and just doing stuff around the farm. Like yeah, Sophie and I built that amazing yeah. chicken coop today, and it's working so good. Do you like it, Sophie? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, you guys. It's just hard to open. It's hard to open, yeah. We should figure out a better way to do that. We could... Turn the camera down. What do you see when you look into the field? <laughs> a little mini. But it's too short to reach the top. Yeah, so anyways, see you guys tomorrow with more fun, amazing videos, and we'll be back with our boys. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the